Hi, my name's Kenny Craig. I am the Corporate Recovery and Insolvency Director of RSM Ten in, in the Glasgow office. Um, I have been doing a lot of construction, uh, restructuring, and insolvency now for the best part of 15, 20 years. Um, came across it big time back in 1998 with Moyer Construction, which had a balance sheet of four million pounds of debtors and work in progress, um, which I was able to recover only a negligible amount and this highlighted uh, that there were severe um, aspects to this industry that does just don't appear in any other industry. Um, the recovery in an enforcement scenario of receivership, administration or liquidation from debtors and work in progress um, in construction is can be as low as 5, 10, 20 percent and, and is regularly little more than 20, 25 percent. This highlights many of the problems in the industry and the advantage for me of coming here today is it's important to keep um, abreast of what's going on and what came out of today's session was that subby bashing is still rife and is, is, a, is a, a, a very big problem in the industry. Um, to me there's, there are major problems and major opportunities in the industry um, and I think it is vital that the good companies make money and are encouraged to grow stronger and the poorer companies are weeded out. I say many of the main contractors um, only survive because of subby bashing. Subcontractors seem to have a finite life, or the vast majority of them do. Uh, main contractors in many ways have a, an extended finite life and are, because they're able to pass on the pain to the subcontractors. There may be many reasons for that. These were highlighted today. Waste, um, bureaucracy and red tape, um, time wasting. Uh, I was at a seminar similar to this um, 10 years ago where the head of the Confederation uh, indicated that 50% of the time in a site was wasted time. So this means there's, there's clear opportunity to improve efficiency and thereby allow everyone to, to, to grow within the profession and increase both their professionalism, their, their strength, their competence and ultimately their profitability. Um, Subby bashing um, is integral. On the back of Moyer we prepared uh, seminars which we over the last 10 years run to, to all three Scottish clearing banks among others and they were pivotal or sorry subway bashing and the way it impacts the accounts the, from the contract was pivotal to that session. Um, for me um, picking up the pieces um, it is um, I think you start there and work backwards in, in, in looking at the industry and trying to improve right across the board.